Marvel Spider-Man 2 reportedly has a new area, Hellblade and Avowed could appear in the next Xbox showcase, Activision PC Gaming surpassed console gaming and way more in this video. My name is Wen, welcome to Game News and without further ado, let's go straight to the news. So guys, as always, let's first go over some of the fast news. The popular VR-based multiplayer game VR Chat is dropping support for the original Oculus Quest headset. Guys, as Meta continues to streamline its device roster, the original Quest headset is being deprecated, and as a result, VR Chat will officially drop support for it on June 30, 2023. But there is still hope for those who want to keep using their Quest One for VR gaming. You can still connect your Quest headset into a gaming PC. Via via Quest Link or other methods and still be able to enjoy your games normally. Guys, EA just released Patch 4 for Star Wars Jedi Survivor. This update intends to fix various performance issues and bugs, improve the overall user experience and make the game more enjoyable and playable. If you want to know more details, the patch note is in the description. XCOM 2 is 90% off on Steam. Guys, you can buy the game now for $5.99 and the promotion ends on May 12th. The Street Fighter 6 open beta is coming soon. From May 19 to May 21st, you will be able to get a taste of the action with 8 top tier characters, crossplay and a battle hub. Guys, this is an amazing opportunity to try the game and experience it before its release. They did release a video announcement and the link is in the description. Marvel's Spider-Man 2 is the follow-up to Insomniac Games' highly successful Marvel's Spider-Man and Spider-Man Miles Morales. Both games received critical acclaim for their good writing and excellent gameplay, with players exploring an open-world version of New York City, swinging, climbing and jumping across rooftops and buildings and preventing street crimes. However, the first game was limited to Manhattan Island, while Spider-Man Miles Morales added Harlem to Spider's patrol area. So guys, the recently released Marvel's Spider-Man 2 prequel comic hints at a new location in the upcoming sequel. In the comic, Peter and Mary Jane are seen grilling in the backyard of Aunt May's house in Forest Hills, Queens. And this has led a lot of people to speculate that a famed neighborhood will be explored in Marvel Spider-Man 2. Guys, Queens is an integral part of the Spider-Man universe, with Peter growing up in the neighborhood and attending Midtown High School there. And towards the end of Spider-Man Miles Morales, Peter revealed that he planned on moving back into his childhood home in Queens after being evicted from his Mahatman apartment in Marvel Spider-Man. So for me this is kind of a confirmation of some speculation that I already had. It makes sense that they would expand the map because this is a sequel. So they want everything in the game to be twice as big and the map is clearly the easiest way to do this. So this is to be expected. But we will have to wait to see how they will fit Queens into the story of the game. Because having a new area just for the sake of having it it would be a waste. Well, as Insomniac does not tell us anything about the game, we will have to wait for the next state of play. Maybe, you know, maybe there we will have some new information. Xbox Vice President of Games Marketing Aaron Greenberg has recently updated his Twitter profile picture with the new variant of the Xbox logo that referenced both Hellblade 2 and Avowed. So the logo features a large tree with roots running underneath it and several bodies hanging from the branches, which is a clear reference to the Dark Norse world of Hellblade 2. Above the logo there are several airborne arrows, which may be a reference to Avowed reveal trailer where a multitude of fire arrows soar through the sky. Out of all the upcoming titles Xbox Studio has announced over the past few years, Hellblade 2 and Avowed are the most imminent. Guys, Ninja Theory shipped the original Hellblade in 2017 and joined Xbox in 2018. As for Obsidian, its multiple team setup allows for several projects to be worked on simultaneously, meaning that Avowed was likely in the early stages of pre-production around 2019 when Outer Wilds was rolling out. And with the long-awaited Starfield set to release in early September, Xbox has nothing as set in stone for the final three months of the year as of now, apart of course from Forza Motorsport. It is very possible that either Hellblade 2 or Avowed, perhaps both, could set their sights on Q4 2023 release dates if they make an appearance at the Xbox Game Showcase. Guys, as I had already said, Hellblade 2 is the game of the Xbox Studio that I am most looking forward to. I love the first game, and all the teasers that Ninja Theory is releasing about the game are making me more excited to experience it. The game is using Unreal 5 
5 and it looks like the developers are going to push the engine to its limits in terms of graphics. I would really like to see more things about the game but it seems that the developers lately don't want to give us any kind of information about their games. So let's hope that we get something on the Xbox showcase. Guys, as we mentioned in the last video, industry insider Jeff Grubb has teased the date of the upcoming PlayStation Showcase event on social media. According to Grubb, the event may occur during the week of May 25, just before the start of Summer Game Fest. While no official announcement have been made by Sony, this window actually seems to be the most likely time for the company to make its next big reveal. So in the replies to Grubb's tweet, gamers have speculated about what we might see at the PlayStation Showcase. One possibility is another Final Fantasy. 16 trailer given the recent state of play dedicated to the upcoming game. There have also been rumors of a PS5 Slim console and it is possible that Sony could share details about this during the event. Fans of the Spider-Man franchise may also have reasons to be excited, you know, with Insomniac Games current developing Spider-Man 2, it's possible that we could get a first look at the highly anticipated sequel during the PlayStation Showcase. However, this is purely speculation at this point. But it is worth noting that Sony tends to hold its events on Wednesday and Thursday Day, so the date of May 24 and 25 seems to fall within the window for the PlayStation Showcase. However, until Sony makes an official announcement, we can only speculate about the exact date and the time of the event. Payday 3 is the next chapter in the popular Payday franchise and promised to deliver the ultimate bank robbing experience. The game is set to continue the story of the gang from the previous games, with the group now in the sights of both the law and the criminal underworld. The game has been referred to as the next chapter and evolution of the franchise by the developers, who have promised to utilize modern tech to create a fully fledged social heist universe. Guys, one of the most exciting aspects of Payday 3 is the new gameplay mechanics that are being introduced. According to the developers, players will have even more options for planning and executing heists, including the ability to scout out the location and gather intel before the job. Players will also have access to a wider range of weapons, gadgets and vehicles to aid in their heists. In addition to the new gameplay mechanics, Payday 3 will also feature new characters and customization options. Players will be able to create their own characters and customize them with a wide range of clothing and gear options. Despite the challenges faced by Starbreeze Studios, the team has remained committed to deliver a high quality game. The studio has promised that the wait for Payday 3 will be worth it and that the game will release in the right condition, with the reveal gameplay footage coming this summer. I don't know what to expect from Payday 3. I only only played the first payday and when I play it I was a kid so the only thing I remember was being frustrated because I couldn't figure out what to do in the game so I don't have any found memories of the franchise but the developers are promising interesting things a little ambitious to tell the truth but let's give them the benefits of the doubt and hope that they can deliver everything that they are promising i know that a lot of people love the franchise and i hope that this game is amazing and that it comes bug free and with a lot of content so we can spend hours and hours robbing banks According to PCGamer.com, PC Gaming has been experiencing a monumental boom over the last three years. Despite global shortage of components, PC Gaming has been consistently on the rise. This growth can be attributed to a number of factors including the fact that almost every esport tournament is played on a PC, streamers and content creators use them, and any player seeking a competitive edge opts to build a gaming PC over a console. And in the latest financial report from Activision Blizzard, it was revealed that there has been a 74% increase in PC game revenue year on year. This growth was driven primarily by Blizzard, which has a significant PC gaming audience. In fact, only 8% of Blizzard audience is on console. On the other hand, Call of Duty has a more evenly split audience, with 49% of the players enjoying the franchise on consoles compared to the 26% made up of PC gamers. And Activision data suggests that the shift towards PC gaming is not slowing down. Guys, with ports becoming more common and even Sony seeking to bring more games to PC, it's clear that the industry is changing. Changing. So guys, this is all for me for now. Thank you so much for watching the video. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe to the channel, comment something down below. And of course, a huge hug, love and peace.